Callum, before we start, it's been a bit of a sad week for the club. You've been around here for a while. What were your memories of Cecil Duckworth? Yeah, it's uh, it's very sad. Um, when I heard the news about Cecil, um, he's a huge, huge part of this club, and uh, he's obviously been the guy that put Worcester where it is now as a rugby club. Uh, he had that vision um, of wanting to make Worcester a Premiership rugby club, and for, for what he achieved personally and for what he put into this club he's such a humble bloke and all, always willing to, to have a chat and yeah it's it's a very sad time and we're hoping that this week we can obviously pay our respects and our thoughts with his family and we, we want to do him proud and well, we always will because like I say he's he's left a mark on this club and and this county to be honest and what he's put in um, whether it's here or the charity work he's done behind the scenes as well like he's it's massive and him and his family will live in this county for a long time. It's a special day for you on Saturday. You'll be making your 100th appearance, obviously postponed from the sale games. You've had a few weeks to wait, so yeah. I'm sure you'll be relieved to, to get to that milestone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, obviously how the end of last season finished, it was yeah, a bit of a, a weird time. And yeah, I suppose now I can, I can celebrate my 100th. Uh, Personally, it's yeah, it's it's a nice milestone. Like I say, when I first started playing rugby, if you told me I could play 100 games for for my local rugby club, um, I'd bit your hand off. So yeah, I'm very grateful and fortunate to be in this position. Um, obviously, I, to be honest, paying the respects to Cecil is probably more important than my 100th. But um, yeah, for me and my family, it's it's a nice milestone to reach. What are some of your best memories here, either on the pitch or off the pitch, and show us some of the people you've met along the way? Um, yeah, so for when I first started, obviously uh, your debut is always, always, a, always a big one. Um, I know it's away, Gwent Dragons in the cup, or back then probably we beat Gloucester home and away was always uh, a nice, a nice achievement. Um, and then probably more recently since I've been back was probably the big win we had against Bristol which was class um, and the meet, people you meet obviously people like Coxie or Pens you know we've been here all the way through so it's, it's nice we've got some great memories uh, and, and there's been a lot a lot of great characters that come through the club and the memories that you make on the pitch with those wins and off the pitch is what you really cherish and uh, yeah it's, it's great to be involved in. There's lots of youngsters here at the moment. What's it like to train with? And do you hope some of those can follow your footsteps and join you in the 100 club? Yeah, sure. Um, at, like I say, at the moment, the, the academy lads coming through is uh, is great. And yeah, it's, there's, there's a lot of talent coming through. And obviously, with the likes of Ted and Ollie being away with the uh, England squad now, it's, 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 it's exciting times. And yeah, uh, with so many young lads, the, the energy on the pitch uh, practice is at all time high, to be honest. And uh, there's a good buzz about the place and it, it shows that you know if you perform you get your chance in the first team and obviously there's chances to go up through into the England ranks so yeah it's uh, good times. New season starts it's a pretty short pre-season are all you guys ready and up for it? Yeah um, yeah it was a sh it was a short pre-season but to be fair obviously we didn't have that much time off so it was kind of in our heads as a squad, we were kind of just carrying on from where we left off uh, last year. But um, yeah, we're, we're ready for it. And starting off with Irish at home, we'll be uh, get get a good start to the season. So. And finally, you and Sharky are bringing a coffee shop to us. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. So um, yeah, obviously I've had guilt trip, which I started when I was over in Belfast uh, just over three years ago, and Sharky's joining us and and partnership and bringing guilt trip to. Obviously Worcester, um, we're a, co a coffee and donut shop. Um, opening with two sites in Worcester, very early December time. But um, yeah, it's going to be uh, exciting times, and hopefully we can uh, get all the boys down and get going. 